Guys, I know I'm not the only one who has had those days where your hair just turns out perfectly. And then days where your twist out just seems like it's just not working so this is what i've come up with okay from experience in this video you will see a series of pictures the first set of pictures you will see i used the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie did a review on this product so if you haven't seen that go ahead and watch it it's on my channel it might be linked below if not just go on my videos on my channel and you'll find it there how do you get the most defined twist out we want definition we want definition number one is you need to use and do small sections the smaller the section the more defined your twist out will be number two damp hair now I know that there are a lot of tutorials on wet hair, twist out on wet hair, twist out on dry hair. With our kind of hair, you must, you first of all, you can't just go and pick up a product and put it on your dry, super dry hair without spritzing water, right? Every time, even if your hair is dry, you're going to spritz some water for manageability, for moisturization, blah, blah, blah. So why not just do it on damp hair? My twist outs on dry hair have not looked anywhere close to how perfect my twist out look on damp hair when i do my twist outs on damp hair the thing is your hair is easier to mold into a certain shape when it's wet that's why we spritz it and then that way you can manage it that way you can like you know manipulate it turn it this way turn it that way twist it around it's easier to use when it's wet when it's in wet state so if you use it on damp hair your twist outs are gonna hold they're gonna be easier to get and when they dry they'll be in that form that you molded them into therefore you're gonna get a good definition when it comes to twisting out your hair now the next section is something that I have noticed that I've done many of us on a natural hair journey and I know I'm not the only one when you're twisting your hair you're trying to make sure we all want that long hair right when we start a natural hair journey I can't wait and then when it gets a certain length you're like well if I stretch it a little it's gonna look longer so we twist our hair let me show you I hope this is showing we tend to twist our hair like this going downwards that way we are stretching it as we twist it and that way we're trying to assure ourselves that we're gonna have length right yeah i mean you're gonna have length and your twist out will come out a certain way but if you want that perfect definition this is how you need to twist grab your hair taut and twist it tightly twist it don't twist it going down like twist it in place like I'm doing right now your twists are gonna be tighter am I in frame? am I in frame? I don't have all that fancy stuff like viewfinder what is viewfinder? <laughs> anyway so yeah do not twist it downwards twist it in place all right now one thing you must know is that if you're looking for length this is not the best way to go you can't twist it you know in place try to get that definition and also try to get length if you're trying to just trying to get length and a longer twist out and you're not going for definition twist downwards but if you're twisting it in place just know that your twists are going to be shorter because your hair is tighter and compact together okay so you're not going to get that length but you're definitely going to get the definition thank you so much for watching guys see you again in the next video bye bye